Hey, hey. Invite and share, invite and share. Invite and share. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, invite and share. Amen, invite and share. Hey, better and better. Invite and share. Invite and share. See, I saw your name, so I I shouted you out when I saw it. Hey, Lola, God bless you. I'm so glad I saw you because this is the first time that I was going to say on the scope, hey, better and better. It's the first time I I was going to say on the scope about the website. Um, I had fixed it in my mind to do it. I'm glad I saw you. Praise God. Hey, invite and share you all. We're meditating on, on encounters based on the chambers. Hey, count on the roof. Enjoying that vacation. Hey, beauty for ashes. Good afternoon. And we're going to do some more prophetic words. I got some more people um, that I haven't gotten to. Amen. But to, this morning was so powerful. Man, I had to, I had to, I had to come back on for real. Like, my gosh. So for those of you all that don't know, if this is your first time, we meditate on the word of God, but we do it to music. Amen. Invite and share, invite and share. All right. And what we're doing for those of you all that do come on, but haven't been on in a couple of days, we're going to start. Hey, Prophet is there. So glad you're back. We're going to start doing um, Song of Solomon's. We're meditating on Song of Solomon verse by verse. And it's been so good. Um, It's been so good. Yeah, I wrote my love letter and I read it to him too. I wrote my love letter and I read it to him. I'm going to tell you about it in a second, Lola. All right. My gosh, it's been it's been good. Well, we're meditating on Song of Solomon's chapter. We're, We're on chapter one right now. We're on verse four. Hallelujah. Yeah, we're, we're back on. This verse four was so good. We we about to do some more of it uh, uh, right now. And I got a, some new revelation, you all, for the chambers. That's really good. <laughs> I'm telling you, like man, y'all about to trip on this. So I'm gonna wait about like another sixty seconds, and then we're gonna do this. Okay, invite and share. We're meditating on the word of God. Meditating on the chambers. Hallelujah on the chambers. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes. Please share. Hallelujah. Please share. All right. Uh, we're, we're just focused on encountering Jesus on this, this uh, soap scope. Um, it's not about me or anything. We're, we're, we're just trying to just, you know, encounter the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yes, 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 yes. All right. I am so geeked up, you all. So let me go ahead and and, uh, begin to read this scripture. So, you all, we're meditating on Song of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 4. And the scripture says, Draw me, we will run after thee. The king hath brought me into his chambers. We will be glad and rejoice in thee. We will remember thy love more than wine. The upright love thee. Now, Song of Solomon, you all, is a prophetic picture of Jesus and the church. Okay? So the bride, the woman in this passage is the bride. In other words, it represents us. So this is how we should be towards Jesus. And then the guy is Jesus. So it shows how Jesus not only is towards us, how he feels about us. So if you really want to know or, or put some words to the love language of how Jesus feels about the church and how the church feels about Jesus. What up, bro? Then, then um, look at Song of Solomon's. Song of Solomon's will take you deeper into how Jesus feels about you. Okay? And Song of Solomon's, if you want to grow in your relationship with the Lord, it will show you the posture and the heart that we as the people of God should have towards Jesus. So our heart should be, Lord, your love is better than wine. Come on. Mean it, Lord, you're, you are the most intoxicating thing in all of existence. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on. You with verse, verse two, kiss me with the kisses of your mouth. You know what I mean? Like, come on. 
come on like we we want to go there and so where we've been at this morning is uh, the part where it says the king hath brought me into his chambers the king hath brought me into his chambers thank you so much and we saw how the word chambers actually means that secret place that innermost place think about this the king hath brought me into his chambers i want you to think for a second how excited now, here let me let me let me put this in a way we can understand it think about somebody that you are a huge fan of and how excited you will be if that superstar athlete singer whatever it is say you know what Let's step away from all these people trying to get my autograph. And let me take you into the secret, the most secret place that I could take you to. All right? And it's just me and you now, one-on-one. Like, like, really think about that. There are a lot of women right now, and men, that defile themselves every single day because they yearn to go to the secret place of that most favorite person. All right. This is where you have, quote unquote, groupies. You have groupies lined up for all of these superstar entertainers just to go in the bedroom with them in that intimate place, just to be with them just for a second. Like, think about that. This is just hitting me right now. Lined up just to be with that star for a second. Just so they can encounter them. It's magnified times a trillion and then some with the Lord. So imagine that excitement with a, 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 a woman with Jay-Z or a man um, lining up. Well, I know he can't line up for a Beyonce or, you know, Nicki Minaj or something. I mean, but y'all know what I'm saying, right? We should have even more excitement for the Lord when we come into his presence to encounter him. Hallelujah. You all understand what I'm saying? And so think about the excitement of the person in this verse when they say the king hath brought me into his chambers. And like he's brought me into his chambers, his secret place, his innermost place. Now, I want to release a revelation to you all and then we're going to start meditating. So for those first timers, uh, we're about to meditate, but I really have to release this revelation. I saw some other meanings for chambers. And in Psalms chapter 104, verse 3, let me tell you all what this says. Psalms 104, verse 3 says, the Lord, it says, who layeth the beams of his chambers in the waters. I'm going to stop right there. It says he lays the beams of his chambers in the waters. See, I wanted to get more revelation on God's chambers. And so a good way of studying in the word is when you want more revelation on that thing, begin to look up more scriptures that has that particular word in it so you can get more revelation on what it looks like. Right. And so let me tell you what I saw. It says he lays the beams of his chambers in the waters. Do you know that that word beam in that scripture? Let me tell you what beam means in that scripture. The word beam means encounter. I'm not making this up. This is the word of God. The word beam means encounter. So in other words, when it says he lays the beam of his water, the beams of his chambers in the waters, it's saying he lays the encounters of his chambers in the waters. Think about that. In other words, we can encounter the Lord. We can encounter his secret innermost place in the waters. So what are the waters? We have rivers of living water. The Holy Spirit enables us to encounter the Lord in his secret place, in the chambers. The Holy Spirit takes us into the deep things of God. But then think about this. The word. Remember, we are washed by the water of the word. Right? The Bible calls the word water. So the Lord lays encounters inside of the word. So when we're reading the word, we can encounter the Lord. So imagine if you start praying the word, if you start worshiping through the word, hallelujah, he lays the encounters in the waters. <laughs> Think about that. 
Psalms 104 verse 3. And Psalms 104 actually shows you, it shows you, uh, it gives us a picture of the Lord. It begins to show us this one. As a matter of fact, if we can go there for a second, because I want you to get a picture of who we're looking at in these chambers. Psalms 104, it says, bless the Lord, O my soul, O Lord, my God, thou art very great. Now then look, it starts breaking down his clothes he's wearing when he comes into the innermost parts. Thou art clothed with honor and majesty. But then look at that. It says, who covereth thyself with light as with a garment. So basically, his garments are light. Mm. He stretches out the heavens like a curtain. Come on. He makes the clouds his chariot. Oof. Jesus, can you imagine? We're looking at someone who takes the clouds and makes the clouds his chariot. Hmm. He walks upon the wings of the wind. Do you know how light his feet have to be? How gentle his feet have to be to walk on wind? Oh my gosh. My gosh. Okay, so let's go back to Song of Solomon. We're going to begin to meditate now. Okay? I really felt it anointed with the music we were playing earlier, so I'm going to put it back on. Amen. There's no limit to the light. Come on, Lola. No limit to the light. So, again, we're meditating on Song of Solomon's chapter 1, verse 4. It says, The king hath brought me into his chambers. The king hath brought me into his chambers. When we meditate, we mutter, we imagine, we study, and we ponder. Those are four of the definitions from Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. So we're going to begin to mutter as we ponder, as we imagine. Hmm. And we want the word to be inscribed on our heart. So this is why we mutter it. So it can, it, it's a sharp two-edged sword. So it can begin to pierce through the darkness and be written on our heart. So whatever level our heart was at with this scripture this morning, it's going to be able to pierce through to even another level right now. Are we ready? Amen. So let's get going. Some of you all have probably already started. That's fine. And say it, and if you want, say it slow. And even begin to take deep breaths as you do it. Breathe the word in. The king hath brought me into his chambers. Mm. The king has brought me into his chambers. Remember, the chambers are the secret innermost place. The king has brought brought me into his chambers hmm. the king has brought me huh, into his chambers the king has brought me into his chambers hmm. the king has brought me into his chambers Yes, the king has brought me. Mm. Let's begin to release revelation for brought because the word brought keeps jumping out to me. Mm. The king has, the king brings me into his chambers. Mm. Let's go a step further. Instead of the king, let's begin to be more intimate with that. Let's begin to say his name. Jesus brings me. Jesus, you are bringing me into your chambers. Oh, that's good. Jesus, you are summoning me into your chambers. Yeah, let's release revelation for bring right now, okay? Jesus, you are beckoning me into your private place. Jesus is carrying me into his chambers. Mm. Come on. Jesus is beckoning me into his chambers. 
think about what we're saying. Jesus, you are bringing me into your chambers. We're just, we're just really starting on the meditation, but we've been on since 1230. Jesus, you are wooing me into your chambers. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Take a deep breath. Jesus, you are luring me into your chambers. Jesus took me into your chambers. Jesus, you are calling me into your chambers. Jesus, you are holding my hand and bringing me into your chambers. Something that's jumping out to me Why this is beginning to be personal for me I can only say it for myself Is that word me is jumping out Like of Anybody he can bring into his chambers All of these supernatural beings He desired to bring me Me into his chambers Come on Come on This scripture right now will wage war against any rejection or condemnation that we have been battling. Mm. Allow yourself to be drawn into his chambers right now. Mm. Jesus, you are compelling me to come into your chambers. <sighs> Lord, what is so special about your chambers that you are compelling me to come there? Come on, let's begin to ask the Lord what is so special. There's something, there's something so special about the chambers that we we, we haven't really grasped the fullness of yet. Why he's calling us there. Jesus, why are you bringing me into the chambers? Jesus, show me what you desire to show me in these chambers. The king is summoning me to his chambers. Mm. Mm. Jesus, what have you prepared for me in your chambers? What have you prepared in your chambers? Remember, when we come into the chambers, he's not just releasing revelation for us, but he wants to reveal his heart. He might want to tell us what's going on in China, what's going on in, in Europe, what's going on in your city, in your neighborhood. He might want to tell you what just happened with a particular principality he had to, to, to deal with. He might just want to just tell you, you know what, I just want to tell you right now, like you mean the world to me. Mm. Jesus. King has brought me into his chambers. Let's begin to meditate on that scripture now. We're going to begin to mutter it. As we mutter it, it's like we're squeezing the juice out of that scripture. Oh, that's good, Prophetess Deborah. Yeah. Jesus is communicating with me in his chambers. Yeah. Come on. Mm. Let's begin to squeeze some more of the of, of, of whatever is coming out of this word, I want us to begin to mutter it again, knowing that it's it's releasing some small stuff out of here. So come on, let's begin to do that. The king has brought me into his chambers. The king has brought me into his chambers. The king has brought me into his chambers. Let's take a deep breath every now and then. Breathe in the surroundings of the chambers. The king has brought me into his chambers. The king has brought me into his chambers. has 
brought me into his chambers. Mm, that's good. You are rubbing down with oil in your chambers. You know what? That just gave me an idea. That's good. Let's begin to release. What is the Lord showing you what is happening in these chambers right now? One person said he's rubbing the chambers down with his oil. Lord, you are rubbing me down with oil in your chamber. Mm. Remember, the chamber is like the bedroom, the secret place, the most intimate place. He's rubbing us down with his oil in the chambers. Amen. Mm. I am filled with so much emotion in your chambers. Release that revelation on the screen, you all. Mm. Come on. He's giving you all stuff too. Come on, we're, 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 we're going into this chamber. The king is saturating me with glory in his chamber. Mm. I want you to picture this happening. The king is anointing me right now in his chambers. Mm. You're changing my clothes, stripping me of debris and clothing me in your glory in these chambers. Yes, 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 yes. Our clothes are being changed right now, you all. Ah. You're changing my clothes in your chambers. Mm. You're giving me a new heart in your chambers. These things are happening, you all. Begin to say these things. Whatever one you want to say, say it. Uh, you are purifying me and giving me newness in your chambers. Mm. You're bringing me into new wine in your chambers. You're endowing me with breath in your chambers. You're giving me beauty for ashes in your chambers. Mm. You are blessing me with blessings in your chambers. Remember that the chambers are the most innermost part. You're giving me wisdom and changing my name in your chambers. You are transforming me right now in your chambers. Mm. Jesus, you are giving us new names. You're giving me a new name right now in your chambers. Thank. Let's begin to thank him. Release the revelation, but say thank you to him. So thank you for taking me deep in your chambers thank you for rubbing me down with oil in your chambers thank you Jesus for changing my clothes in your chambers thank you Jesus for a new anointing in your chambers come on let's get more intimate let's say thank you his name and say the reason why okay better and better hmm Thank you for giving me a new name, Jesus, in your chambers. Come on, we're talking directly to Jesus now. Mm. Thank you, Jesus, for changing my thoughts right now in your chambers. Thank you, Jesus, for enlightening and endorsing me in your love in these chambers. Thank you, Jesus, for giving me a new heart in your chambers. Thank you, Jesus, for taking me deeper into your chambers. Thank you, Jesus, for a new weight of glory in your chambers. Mm. Come on. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, this just hit me. That, that, that Can we ask him that? Jesus, can we have a new language to love on you in the chambers? Mm. Thank you, Jesus, for a new language in these chambers. Thank you, Jesus, for calling us nearer. Hallelujah. I want us to even get more intimate. I don't, I don't even want us to say, say God on this. Hallelujah. Remember, our God has a name. Come on, we can say Jesus. We can say Father. Mm. Remember, the fullness of the Godhead bodily exists in Jesus. Jesus is the gateway to the Father. Hallelujah. But I want us to get intimate, to truly encounter him right now. Mm. 
thank you, Jesus, for a new song being given to me in your chambers. Hmm. Let's begin to release revelation on chambers right now. Oh, wow. Well, you know what? We could keep it. If, if you still want to say more things you're seeing in the chambers, let's, let's do that for a few more minutes. Thank you, Jesus, for renewing my mind in your chambers. Wow. Mm. Now, now let's do release some revelation for chambers. Thank you, Jesus, for bringing me into an encounter. The king is bringing me into an encounter. <laughs> ah, the king is bringing me to a meeting. Mm, think about that. Oh, Lord, you are bringing me to a meeting. Have you all thought about that? It's one thing to connect with somebody. It's another thing to have a meeting with them. Mm, one of the words for this chamber is a meeting place. Hmm. Oh, Lord, I'm looking forward. Jesus, I'm looking forward to our next meeting. Mm. Jesus, I'm looking forward to more encounters with you. <laughs> Jesus, I'm looking, I'm looking forward to more times in the innermost place with you. Jesus, I don't ever want to leave your chambers. Hmm. in his chambers we begin to hear his voice in his heart so I want to um, I want to release a prophetic word right now um, I had some people that I hadn't gotten to yet um, is Andrea Neil Boyd are you on here and you all can keep meditating Andrea Neil Boyd Gloria Kennedy, Nicole Wilson, Lori Honory, La Sophia Brown, okay, Taylor Hall. Valerie Cole. Wow. Shamika Grayson. Okay, Jenna, we're going to do. Okay. Vita, see God. Is that, is that Vita? Which, who just said, I am here? Who is that? Well, you know what, Jana, you and uh, you and Vita, I'm going to bless you. Let me read these these last three names. Um, is Laverne on here? Laverne. Renee. And Angelica. <laughs> and the last one is uh, Victoria Cook. All right, cool. All right, let's let's minister to Jana. Then we're gonna do Vita, and then I saw a Sam forty eight, and we'll see how this goes. We can um, probably minister to some more people. So for those of you all that are new to the scope, we we usually um we meditate on the word of God, but we also release the prophetic as well. Um, I tell people to email me just so I have time to get to everybody. Um, you know, because I hate to cut it off and I didn't get to you or whatever. So my email is kazblak1 at gmail.com. kazblak1 at gmail.com. 
but we're also going to do some spontaneous ones as well now this is the beautiful thing about it we've all been meditating we're we're we're, we're in these chambers right hmm we're in these chambers and i just got some more revelation on the chambers i'll probably have to do that this evening about the chambers of our heart wow yeah so in saying that we do corporate prophecies so this is a good way to get activated if you've never prophesied before. This is a good way, you know, to kind of test the waters, you know, before stepping out into a public place or something like that. So what I ask you to do is here, listen to God, ask the Lord, get a word from him and then put that word, put a word or a phrase or a couple of words up on the screen. And what we're going to do is we're going to put all of those words together. And believe that it's God and minister the word to that particular person, okay? Because remember, the Bible says we prophesy in part, okay? So all of us are parts to the whole. And we're going to just put that whole word together and give it to that person, okay? And so release it on the screen. And if in some kind of way I don't get to your word, put that word right back on the screen. And I'm just believing the Holy Ghost right now. Because that's that's who we want to, to minister. That's who, who, you know, who's speaking. Hallelujah. The testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. Come on. So we're going to bless Jana. So Jana, we're about to bless you right now. All right. So, Father, we thank you for Jana. Lord God, we thank you for her faithfulness. Holy Ghost, we thank you that you have designed for this time to speak to Jana. For Lord God, you have put a glory on the inside of her. The glory that you, Lord God, have in the highest. You are releasing that glory unto your daughter. And we thank you that this is a season where you are bringing her so much inner peace, Father. Peace in her mind, peace in her thoughts, peace in her family situations, and even understanding. So Lord, we say thank you right now now for what it is that you are about to do in her life in Jesus's name and the Lord is saying trust daughter as you say yes to me and trust me I'm bringing you to a new standard I'm even opening the doors into your life of where the chambers have been locked and blocked off to me this is a time where you are beginning to come into a new relationship with me like you've never known me before you beginning to see the new revelations that I am love but even in a greater capacity as I begin to to increase your faith in me as I begin to increase your belief he says I'm taking you from glory to glory this is the season of going from one glory to another glory and the block is now broken daughter so even now I'm removing the old skin this is a moment of movement in my mighty name says the Lord he says and even as there is movement in my mighty name your praise I have heard it daughter you have been releasing so much praise to me saying hallelujah during this time says the Lord and even your praise has caused the movement from glory to glory and as a result I am clearing up your sight says the Lord I am causing you to see even in my mighty name for I am softening your heart says the Lord with my hand of glory I'm allowing my hand of glory to touch your heart and as a result it is bringing such a softening to it which is affecting your vision which is affecting your faith says the Lord and there is even a new brightness that is coming out to you says the Lord he says for as this new glory is coming on your life there's a new brightness there's a new life there's a new vibrancy that I'm releasing for even as I am clothed with light I am clothing you with light daughter I'm giving you a fresh new joy says the Lord a joy to where you will not be able to stop praising me not a heart of flesh hallelujah I mean not a heart of stone but a heart of flesh so the limits are being taken off of you this day as I begin to turn you around new 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 says the Lord Lord. new 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 as you encounter me in 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 my chamber says the spirit of the living god so father we thank you for this new release that is being released on jana we thank you lord god that even her position she's seeing herself being seated with christ i thank you for the joy that she is going to get from these encounters lord god as she's praising you lord even new waters being released in her life hallelujah lord god we thank you for brand new water brand new pictures lord god 
God, that you are releasing to her, for she is truly a seer. Lord God, that you are causing her to see even in these waters, even a fresh new anointing, Lord, that is bringing a change in her walk. So we just bless your daughter now, Lord God, and we seal these words with the precious blood of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God, that oil is flowing. Come on, we're going to um, bless Vita now. Come on, Vita. Lord, we thank you for the oil that is being poured out over Vita's life. Lord God, we thank you that this oil is new. We thank you that this oil is fresh. Lord God, you are bringing a new dimension of freshness to Vita. Hallelujah. So, Lord God, you've even heard Vita's prayers where she has said how she surrenders to you and for you to have her way. And Vita, the Lord is saying for the month of July, it's going to be a supernatural month for you. Woo, hallelujah. A supernatural month. A month of the miraculous. A month of, of wonders like you've never known it before. A month of intense encounters. A month of you sensing not just my presence, but even the angels that are around you, says the Lord. He says this is a month of supernatural encounters for you. Hallelujah. And the Lord says even as you begin to move in this supernatural, it's going to be such an ease, says the Lord, because you're not setting your heart on the things. You're setting your heart on me. And so the Lord says continue to keep your eyes fixed on me for as you seek me first in my kingdom all of these things are being added unto you for he says you are truly one that walks in the supernatural so as so as i have 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 given that right to all of my children says the lord but because of your thanksgiving even how you enter my courts even in thanksgiving says the lord he says there is a new release of supernatural he says because you enter my courts with thanksgiving you enter my my, my chambers you you always come in thanking me says the lord he says and i love that about you so as a result of these, this thankfulness, I want to show you how much I'm thanking you. So I'm going to begin to rain down suddenly upon you, says the Lord. This is the month. July will be the month of supernatural release in your life. Even things that you thought were unfixable, things that you thought could not be repaired, says the Lord. I'm going to repair them in your life. You're going to experience great influence like never before. You're going to know me as your covering as never before, says the Lord. And my glory is going to be revealed to you in such a tangible way but not just revealed to you but the glory inside of you is going to be revealed to others for yes daughter there was a mark on you there's a mark on you says the Lord hallelujah and so even as that supernatural ability flows out of you you're not going to have to tell others about it it's going to bring others to you says the Lord for there is a new water that I'm releasing in your life even a greater joy that I'm releasing in your life hallelujah and I just heard the word moments hmm moments it's gonna happen just it, it just just in a in a moment in a moment in a twinkling hallelujah so the lord says you're protected you're protected and you're going to come out now you're going to come out. You've been you've been hidden. Continue to stay in that secret place, but you've been hidden. But now the Lord is going to cause your name to be revealed. That month of July, your name is going to begin to be revealed, says the spirit of the living God. Hallelujah. So, Lord, I thank you for this new peace, Lord God, even even how she's going to experience the suddenly like never before. Hallelujah. We just bless this mighty woman of God. Now, in Jesus's name, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Seven months of completion. Yes. Hallelujah. That's seven months. Hallelujah. 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 All right, you all. Let's go to. Um, let's let's go to. Um, hmm. Let's go to what's that person's name? Hey, Amen. If you want to receive it, go right ahead. Go right ahead. Let's let's um what is that sound 48 sound 48 what is your name What is your name sound 48 hey hey How you doing Sound 48 what is your name I just want to say your name Hey first timers We usually meditate on the word but right now we're, we're releasing this prophetic word right now we're releasing this prophetic word. We just got finished meditating on the word. And so now if the meditation was so good, we're, we're just going into the prophetic word of what we're hearing in the chambers. Good afternoon. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. <laughs> he missed everything. Come on, we're going to release that word. Lord, I thank you that Samantha will not miss a thing, Lord God. I thank you, Father, for Samantha. We thank you, Lord God, that not only is Samantha not going to miss a thing in this hour, Lord God, she's not going to have to be worried about anything because your glory is her rear guard. I thank you, Lord God, that you are breaking barriers in her life, even now in the name of Jesus. Barriers, Lord God, of hardness, barriers of confusion. I thank you, Lord God, that this is a season of restoration for Samantha and that you are making all these whole. So we thank you, Lord God, that you are blessing Samantha Smith, even in this hour and through this prophetic word that she is about to release. And the Lord is saying, daughter, break it now. He says, for you are a warrior. The Lord is... It <laughs> the Lord is saying there's going to be nothing lacking. There's going to be nothing missing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the Lord is just saying, the, the Lord is saying that you're flying high. He's saying you've even heard words before. It's telling you that you can't fly. Hallelujah. Like, like, don't go there. Like, that's too much or that's too deep. But the Lord is saying that the Lord is saying that it is a time. It is a time and a season for you to fly, for you to fly in me like never before. And so the Lord is saying, begin to break free of those doubts. Hallelujah. Begin to break free of the doubts, even break free, even of the things that have been told to you, even concerning religion that have caused for you to be bound, says the spirit of the living God. For this is a time of ascension for you. He says, for even as I have called you to my stairs, I call for you to ascend in this hour. And I'm even releasing your dreams to her. I'm even releasing your dreams and causing you to ascend, causing your dreams to fly. He says, for you have truly known what it means to have hope deferred. He says, but now, daughter, I come to heal the emotional wounds even that are in your heart, even from the hope being deferred. This is a time of ascension for you. Not only are you going to ascend in a secret place, but I cause for you to ascend in the natural. This is a time and a season of elevation for you, unlike no other. He says, but you have been hidden for a long time, but I'm about to put you on display. He says, and the anointing of the breaker is upon you. As you begin to fly, you're going to break free of strongholds, break free of dysfunction, break free of cycles, says the spirit of the living God. Mm. Hallelujah. So Lord God, I thank you that though people have attempted to kill her dreams, Lord God, Lord, there is total healing being released to her. There is a supernatural anointing being released to her. I thank you that you are causing her to ascend in this hour. We bless her now in Jesus' name. Amen. A couple of people I see have put what happened. Did the screen cut off or something? I don't know. I've, I've been prophesying. Hallelujah. Amen. All right. I'm just going to pick somebody um, uh, spontaneous. I, I was laughing at uh, uh, about the flying. You know, about the flying. Praise God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. Okay. Betty. All right, Betty. All right, cool. Let's just say your name, Betty. We're going to say Betty, and then we can do T.D. McCullough. So let's do Betty. And I told you, I'm grabbing all these words and ministering them. So we thank you, Jesus, for Betty. We thank you, Lord God, that her voice will not go out. We thank you, Lord, that you have blessed her voice, Lord God, to say hallelujah in the highest. Lord God, we thank you that, Lord, Betty is like your valentine. Hallelujah, Lord God, that you are calling Betty, Lord God. Lord, I thank you that you see her tears, Lord, and, and you say, Lord God, that she won't have to cry anymore, that this is a time to rejoice. Betty, the Lord is saying, this is a time for you to rejoice, for I am bringing you into my chamber, says the Lord. And as you are being brought into my chambers, I'm going to begin to rejoice release you from the hurts that you have been holding on to. I'm beginning to wipe away the tears from your eyes. So the Lord is saying, daughter, you don't have to be so guarded anymore in my chambers. You don't have to be guarded because now you're in front of me. Now you're in front of that fire, that fire that so many have desired to gaze upon. So the Lord is saying, arise and shine in this moment, for I am making you as a soaring eagle. Yes, this is your hour of the breakthrough. 
And though you have heard it many times, says the Lord, you are going to know my purifying, refining fire in this hour. And my fire is taking you higher, causing you to expand, causing you to elevate. For yes, I am wiping your slate clean, even of those things that you keep holding on to in your mind and in your memory. The Lord is saying, believe in my memory. The Lord is saying, stay ready. Stay ready and focus on me. No more bargain basement thinking. Stay ready, daughter, for I am doing it in this hour. I am the Lord of the breakthrough. I am the breaker. I am the Lord that strengthens, says the Lord. Continue to stay focused on me and stay ready. He says there is a fresh assignment that I'm releasing to you. So I'm giving you new strength in these chambers. And as you plunge into me, you are going to see what I will do. So raise your expectations in me. As you surrender with me, I am moving you up. I am taking you higher because I am your vindicator, says the Lord. So I am coming and sweeping through your house, sweeping through your house, daughter, giving you a garment of praise. And as you're praising me, I am sweeping through your house. I am removing those things in this hour that have brought you confusion, those things that have brought you tension, that have brought you anxiety, those things that have brought you strife, says the Lord. There's a new strength I'm releasing in your life right now because you've been wanting more. And here it is, says the Lord, for I am your exceeding reward. So the Lord is saying no more stress, daughter, only with your eyes will you behold what I am doing with the enemy that I'm sweeping away. Even those enemies that have been at your feet, I'm sweeping away these problems in this hour, says the spirit of the living God. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you that that you are uh, uh, beautifying her house. That this is a, a time for, for being a, a, a clean slate. This is a time when you're wiping the slate clean as she surrenders, Lord, as she surrenders to you. I thank you, Lord God, that you are squaring up her shoulders to walk in victory in this hour. Lord God, you are helping her for so long she's been hunched over, Lord God, in a defeated position. Lord, but you are raising her up, Lord God, and calling her as one that is that triumphs in Christ. So we just bless her now, Lord God, as she receives this season of refreshing. Mm. As she has been empty, you are filling her up with new water. And this is will be her greatest year ever. Woo. Hallelujah. 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 I thank you that she is yours to pour into. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Arise and shine. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I'm hearing a word, a corporate word for everybody. I just heard that. So even now, Lord, I thank you that this is a time and a season where we are rising and shining. And the Lord is saying for many of you, you will begin to soar like an eagle for the time is now. This is a time of elevation. This is a time of expanding, of ascending into my glory. The Lord is saying for all that are watching on this broadcast and, broadcast and even on the replay, that I'm making you as an arising warrior. You are arising in this time says the Lord. The Lord is saying for us, since you have come into my throne room, there is a new flow that I'm releasing into your life. There is a new synergy that I'm releasing in your life. All of you I am elevating. All of you I am expanding in this hour, says the Lord, because you have reached out to me. You have reached out to the chambers of my heart, says the Spirit of the living God. So not only are you warriors, but you are warriors that are rising, that are ascending. No more will you fight from the ground level, says the Lord, but I'm moving you up to another place. You are ascending to another place For yes, you will truly know another revelation Of what it means to fight in the heavenly places Hallelujah The Lord is saying there is fresh jubilee being released over your life And even as you ascend I'm eradicating every trial, every struggle And every disappointment that you have been going through You are beginning to ascend past those things That you have been stuck in the mire for For the Lord is saying I am the one that rescues the poor out of the dunk hill And this is a season now where I'm pulling those that have been stuck, those that have been locked in that dung hill. I'm beginning to pull you out now, says the Lord, and I'm beginning to sit you amongst even those that have authority, says the Lord. This is a time of elevation. This is a time of promotion for you, says the spirit of the living God. So, Lord, we thank you for fresh promotion. We thank you for fresh glory. We thank you, Lord God, for the sending anointing. Lord, I pray for a sending anointing that will be released upon us. Lord, as you have scrubbed us down with oil. Hmm. As you have scrubbed us down with oil, Lord God. Hallelujah. Hmm. As you have scrubbed us down with oil. Lord God, we, we receive this sending anointing. Hmm. We bless you. Thanking you for the fresh water and for the fresh oil. In Jesus' name, amen. So praise God to everybody that came on. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. We thank you. This has been awesome. Really, really, really awesome. Um, man, my gosh. You all, I'm, for those of you all that came on um, late, uh, we found out there was a revelation for the chambers. Um, there a revelation for chambers. And I'm going to say it again and I'm going to get off. Um, the revelation for chambers, we saw it in Psalms 104 verse 3. And in Psalms 104 verse 3, it says, Who left the beams of his chambers in the waters. And we saw that that word beam meant encounter. And so the Lord is saying that you can encounter his chambers. In other words, you can encounter that secret place, that innermost place of the Lord in the waters. It says he lays them in the waters. And so what are the waters? The waters are the Holy Spirit. All right. The Holy Spirit. Remember, the, it's a river, rivers of living water. That's what the Holy Spirit is laid to. So the Holy Spirit helps us to encounter the Lord. So when we pray in the spirit, it takes us into when we pray in tongues, it takes us into his chambers. Hallelujah. When we pray by the Holy Spirit and our understanding, beginning to pray the word, listening for him and then speaking it, we begin to go into his chambers. Hallelujah. When we read the word, the word is why. So the Lord lays these encounters even on the inside of his word. You know what I'm saying? And another revelation we got too was about how when we go into the bedroom, um, the scripture is Psalms 104 verse 3. But it was it was flipped off of Song of Solomon's chapter 1 verse 4. And what we got, we the revelation that we got was about the chambers is also called the bedroom or the innermost place that secret place and so what we talked about we made it very plain because this 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 um, woman in song of solomon's was saying the king hath brought me into his chambers there was an excitement there and so we made it very practical we was like think about how people that are called now i'm not calling them a groupie I'm saying, but, you know, this is what people are called. You know, how certain um, artists and entertainers, they have groupies. And these groupies desire to go into the bedroom. They desire to just have just that moment. I mean, they get so excited. They dress up for it. They, 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 they'll they sit there and, and cheat on their husbands just for that time. You know what I mean? Of saying, can I just get with this entertainer this one time? Can I just have this moment with them? Can I go into this place of intimacy with them? And I'm saying this should be magnified times a trillion when it comes to us encountering the Lord. Come on, come on. This is the attitude. This is the attitude. <laughs> you are funny. This is the attitude of, um, of the person. This is the attitude of the woman in Song of Solomon's chapter one. This is the attitude. So if this is the attitude of that woman, you all peep this, then this is the attitude of us. You know why? Because the Song of Solomon's, again, is a prophetic picture of the church and the bride. And so if you ever want to know how Jesus feels about you, like the intimate stuff, read Song of Solomon's. Oh, it will blow your mind. You'll be like, wait a minute. The Lord feels like this about me. The Lord is saying that I have breasts like towers. You know what I'm saying? Like straight up. You know what I mean? Think about that. Why is the Lord saying that we have breasts like towers? Because he's saying that uh, that the Lord has intended for the nations to drink of his milk from us. And so in order for the nations to drink of the milk from us, you know what I'm saying? There, there's there's a certain way. Um, um, there's a certain milk that needs to come out of it. I'm telling you, it is intimate when you begin to see how Jesus sees us. Look at Song of Solomon's. What the man is saying is Jesus. And what the woman is saying is what we're to be saying towards the Lord. So don't feel bad or condemned if that's not your posture. What you should do is let it encourage you 
to say, you know what, Lord, this is what I want my stance to be. OK, I want to be like this. I want to be excited. Even begin to try to get excited about it if you can. You know what I'm saying? Begin to try to, you, you know, get into it. I'm telling you, the Lord will increase your level of excitement because he wants to love you. Remember, the Lord loves us so much that he's jealous. I don't know about y'all, but you're not going to get jealous over just anybody. Let me, let me tell you something, okay? Let me make this very practical, all right? I'm going to make this real practical. And I'm speaking on the person who I was before I came in the kingdom, all right? Before I came in the kingdom, I wasn't getting jealous over, you know, some females I was messing around with on a side, little side chick or something like that, all right? That was the way I thought, all right? They're not side chicks. I'm saying this is the way I thought, right? You weren't getting jealous over that. Who are you getting jealous? You were getting jealous over that one who was supposed to be your one. That's who you were getting jealous over. You know what I'm saying? They were that one. All right. And so the Lord gets jealous over us. He wants to spend time with us. Man, what you doing now? Man, you still ain't made no time for me today. When you going when you going to make time for me? Come on. This this is this is the posture. This is the posture. Like for real, it is the time of intimacy. It's not a time for us to be focusing on any of this other stuff. It is a time for us to be focusing on being intimate with the Lord. Matthew 6 verse 33. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all of these things will be added unto you. Hey man, Lola, the, the, the prophetic is flowing. Hey, I'm saying we in the chambers, right? We, we want spirit. <laughs> Speaking of which, that's an excellent segue.